Good day, gamers. Welcome to Our Gaming Life. Uh, I am your host, A Formal Bust, and with me today is... Here, your boy, Yort. Uh, thank you for being here, uh, Yort Corp, and uh, we have plenty to dive into. But first, as always, our sponsor, H2O. Drink it up or die. Don't have much of a choice. about you. I'm leaving some water for the rest of the show. <laughs> I made eye contact with you and I had to commit. I had no choice. It's all good. I went back for the second one. I was like, alright, we're committing. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, after our sponsor, though, uh, first we have a little of uh, video game terminology education. But before that, does uh, Yort... Here, remember what last? I, it's been it's been a while. It has been it has uh, been a while. Uh, what, what was our last term? I'm gonna be honest. The last term I remember, or I'm trying to remember, mm -hmm. uh, it had to do with the code. Something bad with the code. Uh, had, something where? Something where? Nope. Nope. You're thinking about the time before last. Time. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I remember. I don't remember the previous one. Hey, we're saying good president. You don't remember the one we did last time, but you're remembering the, the one, one we, we did, did before. before. Last look, look, steps, man. Yeah, steps, steps, steps at a time. Uh, no, last time was developers. We went, developers. Uh, we went oh. a little bit into first party, second uh, party, third party developers, mm -hmm. all of that. And since we touched on this episode's um, term in that, this episode's term is publisher. Publisher. The ones who um, officially they are companies that publish video games. Uh, video games, of course, that e have either been developed internally or externally um, hmm. by a, you know, external developer from the company. Um, their main role in publishing, like many other publishing, like book publishing, that kind of stuff, like it's uh, it's a term just taken from those com uh, types of businesses. Um, but they finance the development, and uh, larger uh, game developers also will finance like everything, not mm. just the development. They'll finance the ad campaigns. They'll finance the distribution. That's really where you get into like the triple A's mostly. Hmm. Um, and really, <laughs> really though, nowadays there is only, I think like they cut it up into triple A and double A, and then after that it's indie. Yeah, triple A and double A, and, huh. and double A is considered mid-sized. Now, do you know? Does the does a publisher take the legal, um, like the legal fire if there's anything wrong with the game that yes. that comes out? Yes. It, okay. I mean, so. well, it's video games, so there's usually not a lot of um, legal fire. Yeah, um, yeah. But... Like, like usually, especially if a publisher is involved in the development of the game, mm -hmm. they're gonna make sure because a publisher like. So you mentioned legal stuff. Yes. If the game needs a certain license for a certain game engine to use for the development. That's the publisher's responsibility to get, not okay. the developer. If, okay. If it's a developer working with a publisher. Of yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, they 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 take all of responsibility for it, and essentially, once the game, even before, if it's an internal developer, um, and sometimes depending on the contract, if it's an external developer as well, everything developed is the publish like the publisher owns it, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah, if it's yeah, an ex yeah. external one, depending on the contract, they can at any time be like, well, we're not like happy with how you're doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and how they normally do that, excuse me, is uh, publishers will have, um, um, working with the dev teams, they'll have, uh, what are they called? Uh, producers or project managers hmm. kind of overseeing either if it's an internal or external dev, dev team, the publishers will have their people there, and you know those are the people who. The, the, that's where the friction normally is in okay, the development okay. and publishing teams uh, mm. between them. They get but, final say mostly on everything. Uh, I mean, mo mo the company on, does, yes. but the publishers, uh, sorry, the producers and the project managers for the publishers are their representative on hands where the devel development team is. Yes, mm. Mm. Um, and yeah, as I said. <laughs> There's really only AAA publishers and AA publishers. Um, so, like, you got some examples um, today. Ooh. Yeah, AAA yeah. publishers. You got uh, Sony. Uh, 
Sony, Sony Interactive Entertainment. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to get away from Sony. There's they, uh-huh. they're, they're yep. household name. Yep. There's a ten cent game. I, I I was gonna leave that one announced. Oh, but sorry. Yeah. Uh. 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 Fuck your owning. Uh. The the you know entity that owns ten cent. Um. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck them. Um. There's Nintendo. You know. Surprised to see them still up there, and then uh, Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, let's not uh let's not mention number six or number seven at all. You know, we're good uh, with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's leave those. <laughs> let's leave and, those and, in yeah. the trash heap. Number five as well. I don't know. No, we're five. we're just gonna. We're top four is fine. And top then top four. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And then when you got uh mid-sized publishers, you got people like uh, Telltale, Telltale Gamers, yeah. Paradox Interactive, Capcom, um, mm-hmm. Take Two Interactive. You know. Konami. Yeah, the, 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 these are companies that don't usually fully publish their own stuff, right? Mm-hmm. They usually, you know, work deals out with people or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, AAA, they're, they're usually the ones who are like, here's our game, buy it from us directly. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. So, Are there are there many, uh, like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, individual publishers? So, uh... I mean, we kind of talked about that with developers. Indie devs, one of the things they're more known for when they are like, I'm an indie dev all by myself, is using the internet to distribute it, right? Gotcha. A lot of the publishing stuff, it goes back to the older way of business thinking, Mm -hmm. where it would be like, all right, you've written a book and you're going to publish it in, you know, paper, or you made a video game, you're going to get a CD disc, you're going to put a manual in there, you're going to put the plastic, and you're going to close it all up, going to get it all out to everyone who wants to buy it. Yes. You don't have to do that. Just put your game on Steam, you know. Perfect. Which you can argue Steam is a publisher, but that's true. There is a there is a sort of um, Steam doesn't really have a say in the development process of the game. It has a say in what games it puts out on its uh, uh, software and what games um, it allows to stay on there. Mm. I know there's been in the past with Steam. Um, it's, to me, I would call Steam like a uh, a, a game se- a seller, right? Right. They're they're not necessarily publishing the game. Publishing is more of like we 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 either contract or instruct our employees to make the game. They make it and then we distribute it and sell it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But no. Yeah. Steam definitely is a sort of gray area. Yeah, where you just sell the game. Yeah, I haven't used it, but all right. Steam? No, no, I've used Steam. <laughs> but um. Origin. Origin is is, is uh, uh um. That's more like a. It's another one, um, I believe. Oh, gosh. I'm going to look so stupid. I'm blanking on who. Uh, Origin is another company that yeah. does it. Um, Ubisoft has their thing, too, mm. as well. Where yes. it's like, yeah, yeah. It's it's funny. You'll buy like a Ubisoft game on Steam, and you'll go, play game, and it'll open up the Ubi. Uh, it's, it's like Uplay. I think it's Uplay. Yes. It'll open up oh, Uplay, yeah, and it'll Uplay. be like, all right, installing Uplay. And now we're installing your game. It's, it's like, like, why couldn't why? you? But Steam has gotten better about, like, disclaiming when you buy a game on Steam if it needs a third-party um, uh, 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 browser or whatever like gotcha. that. Gotcha. So they've been got, gotten a lot better on that. Okay. So yeah, that was publishers. Publishers. So don't remember that next time. Remember that the time after next time. I will. I will. I'll remember developers next time. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna th- making great progress. I'm gonna throw the ball in your court because I think oh. you might have more games to talk about than I do this week. Yes, yes, I do. I'll try to not be yep. short, but I will be. I'll be just explain a couple. So I finished Papers, Please. So uh, I guess spoilers right now. Mm-hmm. If uh, for for my little yeah, I, I will run. say spoilers right off the bat because we did kind of talk about this game last time. Yeah, a little bit into it, and you had just started. I think yeah. Gotcha. Uh oh. Well, first off. I got a new computer recently, so I started putting out, uh, publishing a lot of, not publishing, but putting out a lot of the um, the content that I've been recording, so in anticipation of being able to record with a new computer, mm-hmm. so I can just kind of get yeah. all this out. So when doing that, I finished my uh, playthrough of Papers, Please, and I, uh, surprise, surprise, I didn't really know what I was doing, and there are points where they're like, hey, here's a code you should use. And it didn't occur to me until very much later to like put the code over the like the all the letters like the letters right there. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I think <laughs> I think maybe it'll show it up. I'll be like, Oh, I should have been passing these people. Mm-hmm. Great. Yep. So I've been I also couldn't figure out like the fingerprint thing. I couldn't figure it out. So I uh, eventually apparently I got caught and they uh, they took me away for jail 
and uh, I think they sent my family to jail too. Like yeah. I just I lost. They were like, yeah, you're the you're you you're just you're so bad. You, you failed a, you failed at trying to attempt to yeah. let them through. You had a TPK of you and your family. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to be revisiting it. So now that I kind of know what they're expected of me and what I uh. So you finished your playthrough. Yes. But the game beat you this time, is what I'm. Yes, the, the game, game the game, you. the game did beat me this time yeah. because I, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, also, next time I do it, I'm going to be doing it in a having my little uh, webcam in a different corner. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, yeah. that was one of the comments that I got. Oh, special on papers, please. Yes, yeah, so I think this was it. I think this is the moment where I'm like. Yeah, you're like. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, and I was like, oh, I have no, I've completely forgot. Jeez. I'm trying to hide the panic in my eyes. Where I'm like, oh, this makes, oh, 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 no. Yeah, no, paper, like I said, papers, please. It really, it, it gives you a limited amount of real, oh real God. estate to move documents around. Yeah, and, mm. and the thing is, I'm pretty sure if you change your resolution, the size of the papers all change too. So you always have the same ah, real estate yeah. for viewing all of the documents and everything. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. No, it's a, like I said, well, well done game. Very simple. And I, I I'm glad you uh, finished a playthrough and, and are willing to be like, I, I failed guys. I'm not, you know, oh. I failed. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I, I, I definitely, mm -hmm. I definitely lost. I didn't. I <laughs> you did. and your family lost. Yeah, oh yeah. No, my they family's didn't just take gone. You away. They, they, sh they shot your family in the back too. Yeah. Yeah. At one point my son got sick and I was like, look, it's just, you know, it is what it is. I can't afford the medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got to move on. Yeah. But no, nah, I'm definitely coming back to it. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Do it. Yeah. That's all I have to say on that one. No, Papers, Please, very, very, very good game. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I've got, um, just because it's the only, uh, <laughs> just because it's the only uh, non-source uh, of the other uh, that I have, I have a bit of uh, Witcher 3 I've Ooh. been playing through. I, uh, I got it a while ago. It was the... Uh, I got the whole pack the, with the DLCs and everything. Oh, so. fun. And it has two very good DLCs that I would say are... Ju mm, they're definitely not as long as the main campaign, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you do it right, but it's it's a great game. It's a great okay. game. Because um, I've... I, yeah, sorry. I've never played Witcher 3. I've never played any of the Witcher series. Start with Witcher 1. It has a very intuitive uh, control. <laughs> are you lying to me? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Wait, I don't like Witcher it. I don't like it. It's very much like Corp or whatever. Where you're oh yes what it's it's not that bad but like the control scheme for it is is horrendous why would they do that um this was like who 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 was the devel developer or publisher for that I, terrible I, idea I, I believe at the time it was very much like they were looking at things similar to like Kotor and stuff and they're mm. like this is cool but you're just clicking on it we want it to feel more. Like, you're actually wielding the sword and fighting. And, and of course, you're a Witcher, so you're flipping all over the place all the time. So, yeah, don't start with Witcher 1. Witcher 2 is fine. Okay. Um, Witcher 2 is a little bit more linear, but, like, you have, like, different areas that are kind of open world. Witcher 3, I would start with it. You really don't need to know the background. Um, and you, and they do a very good... Um, and like the in like the intro of the game, as mm. you're playing through it, they do a good setup. There's a point where like someone sits you down and is like, "So we have a report from the Imperial." Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, one of those, yeah. one of those. And so from that, if you don't have an import, which I don't even think you can do an imported save like in Mass Effect, right? Yeah, I think you set up what you did in the past games. Oh, okay, that's nice. And really, it just sets up what happened in Witcher Two. <laughs> yeah, they were like Witcher One. What are you talking about? Oh gosh. No, it's it's a great game. Looks great. Um, if you can run it, um, I know I don't know if there still is. I haven't turned it on. Um, there's like Nvidia hair physics or something with it at one point that people were having horrible frame rate issues with. Oh no. I haven't had any issues. I mean, it's an open world game, so you get stuck in walls and stuff sometimes. But yeah, yeah, you know what happens. That always happens. It's a solid game. Um, I've often heard it being compared to Skyrim. Mm. Uh, is that an is that an inaccurate comparison? Is that is that? I would say it's somewhat accurate. Uh, Skyrim to me is like you can kind of go anywhere and do anything, including uh, windsurfing. No, it's fishing. They're adding. Yeah, they're adding fishing in the new re-release of Skyrim. But oh no, my God. Witcher Three. It's very to me. Skyrim's a. I can get in it and do whatever I want and fuck around and have fun, right? Mm -hmm. Witcher Three is very much a. I'm going to be a witcher. I'm just going to be a witcher. I might play some Gwent. I might do some 
fisticuffs, but it's it, it's immersive. It feels much more immersive, right? Yeah, okay. Even though it is third person, it very much feels like, all right, I'm Geralt. This is what yeah, I gotta do. Okay. I gotta find this beast or whatever, and yeah. Um, yeah, you see jumping is on objects is a little clunky sometimes, but yes. no, it's totally fine. I will probably at some point do a full review, maybe even a playthrough, but yeah, no, solid, solid game. I quite enjoy it for the the immersive aspect. I mean, I could see how it could get repetitive because, yeah. I mean, you have like three different quest types. It's either like a main quest where you're mostly talking to people and then maybe doing something for them or finding stuff for them. And then it's like uh, Witcher Contracts, which is where mm. you get that moolah. It's where you get that, the, that coin. Um, and that's usually, well, it's pretty much always find remnants of a beast fight, find the beast, kill the beast, go back to the person who gave you the quest. Yeah. And then there's like treasure hunts, which aren't really money orientated. They're more... Um, dungeon crawl uh, kind of delves? No, there's a... Uh, I mean, some of them are in dungeons. It's uh, legendary gear. There's legendary witcher gear that mm. old witchers of old have crafted and... You can, I think it's five levels and like four or five different styles of Witcher gear. So whatever your play type is, you can get very much into, uh, because it's a single player game, it's not balanced. Uh, yeah, 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 like, of course. Uh, the armor I love the best because I just love using Quinn, which is the thing you see exploding on me when he hits me. It's uh, basically a shield barrier that damages him if he hits me. Um, the Ursine or Bear armor, like Mastercraft armor of that. Yeah, if you have it and you get hit and your Quinn shield pops, there's like a certain percentage depending on how many pieces of armor you have for a new Quinn to be deployed on you immediately for no stamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 I got if, you. If you're if especially because there's like easy, normal, um, hard, I think veteran, and then like death march <laughs> difficulties. And oh man, mm. there's there's some enemies in this game. Th- th- this game is very much like if you want it to be a Dark Souls, you know, replicant, go for it. Oh god. Uh, I will say it, it it is Dark Souls on death march at least. It is a Dark Souls with a uh, quick save. Ah. Yeah. There, there's some, nice. Yeah. There's some enemies, uh, boss battles especially on death march where people are like not even the new game plus. They're just like, look, don't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just just don't get hit for like a solid three minutes while you duke it out oh that's god like, that's the thing good lord yeah yeah so no. there, there's there, there's a whole lot of range in witcher and i uh, witcher 3 and i quite like it yeah hmm. okay i think the next one i want to discuss i think is a uh, call of cthulhu i've been playing that a lot recently call of cthulhu. uh i i always love and i i enjoy Lovecraftian kind of horror stories. I think uh, they were some of my favorites. I'm not a big body horror Mm -hmm. fan. So, (laughs) yeah. 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 So, Lovecraft has always been interesting. And I wanted to see, you know, the game and how it was done, how they tried to do it. Um, This is again on my old, this is again on my old desktop. So, it uh, has some people clipping through things, you know, really awkward positioning sometimes. Can I, can I ask? um... Yeah. When did this game come out? When did this game come out? Uh, I want to say 2016. Okay. Okay. I think so. Okay. I, I, maybe 2016 or 2018. I think it was on an even year. Okay. Um, an even year. Yeah. 1982. 1982. <laughs> yes. Um, no. Um, I've been really enjoying the, the, the progression of this. I mean, it's not, you know, you can't run around and... There's not you can't interact with everything. It's very much a set linear path you have to follow for a story. Mm-hmm. Um, it is, like the, pu- I, the puzzles are pretty pretty simple. Is that what it is? It's kind of a puzzle deduction yeah. kind of. You're investigating a cult or something. Now this, uh, there are, uh, and I'll root it up to what I have so far spoiler, or spoil it. Spoiler, spoiler alert! Spoiler in the game. Uh, which is the, the namesake for this episode, shambling around. There is a there are some creatures that like come out from an extra dimensional world that you have to like run around or like outpace or outrun or hide from. And you know, you have to it's mainly a stealth thing. Mm-hmm. Some of the puzzles, you know, are very particular and they don't like, they don't explain and it's like, well why didn't you just tell me this? Or just not even that, but just uh it's very unclear what the game wants from you sometimes, but it's a. Uh, I really, I kind of want to replay it mm-hmm. because, especially because like the dialogue options, some things are closed off. Where I'm like, I think I can, I could go back and get more, or I want to, I want to go back and see more, mm-hmm. because there are there is a skill tree that is with your character, okay. 
and you can put more points into only certain attributes but there's two attributes you can only increase by finding things in the game Ooh, okay. you can only increase like your medicine and your knowledge in the occult by finding books or artifacts okay. and and what are your other skills on uh, opposing to those there's like uh investigation which is like more of like a legal like you think more legally you think about the law you think about oh you can't get away with that uh, there's kind of like the intimidation factor, which is strength. Uh, there's, uh, what else is there? There's a, per there's kind of like a, it's not called persuasion, but there is a persuasion kind of tactic. And then there's just kind of like the regular baseline questioning. And then the, uh, the occult one gets weird eventually where like you j like, you don't even see what you're trying to kind of say. It's just like symbols and you're like, should I pick this? I don't know. And it's, and then it's like, ah, uh, yeah, it's fun. I, I, that's why I kind of enjoy it. Yeah. No, um, it's, it seems like a great straight up. A little mystery d d d one. Deduction mystery RPG. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, how would you feel? Is it, do, do you think it's like evenly balanced or do you think like there's too much dialogue or there's too much of the investigation puzzle kind of thing? I think, well I think, balanced? I don't think it's well balanced. Mm -hmm. Which is why I don't think I'd really recommend. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the the game on a sale. Yeah. So I you know I didn't pay like full full price for it, mm -hmm. but it um, I wouldn't recommend it for someone else to buy because it's a uh, it's, I don't it, the pacing feels clunky, mm -hmm. um the investigation feels very like, or the investigation scenes where like you go to like a little area and it's very much like, look at this thing. Look at this. Look in this specific area look at for this. clues. Yeah, and it's very clear what to look for. And it's not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's like, again, repetitive gameplay. Not super immersive, I would y say. Yeah, yeah, and you don't really feel like, I don't know, not, I don't feel like I'm a smart player, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. I want to feel like, oh, no, I'm really investigating yeah. something. I'm, I'm discovering something. No, I feel that, yeah. But uh, it's an interesting game. I might, I don't know if I'd replay it, Mm -hmm. With the new computer, with the new graphics, because it is a little harsh to look at. Yeah. Uh, with this, it's kind. Of, it, it's giving me. Uh, I think we talked about the council. I played a little bit of it. Yes. It's, it's, yes. It's very like. There's like it looks fine, but like it's sparse. Mm -hmm. The NPCs are a little funky looking. Yeah. 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 Uh, I kind of want you to skip ahead if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, Do you know a, about where? Uh, keep running your. Your mouse. Keep running. Yeah, about three quarters of the way through. Right there. No, 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 like three quarters all the way through. About keep going. Uh, about here-ish. Yeah, where like you have to. This is what I was talking about. This is one mm -hmm. point where like I'm being chased by something and I need to find a certain clue hide from him oh you gotta you're being chased while you're looking for clues okay yeah you have and there's like multiple Gosh. of options that it could be so you have to you can't just pick them all up no you can't just pick them all up <laughs> you don't have infinite pockets as a detective no anytime you get one out it busts open glass and it immediately alerts to your spot oh no that's not good yeah and it took me a minute to realize oh what do i do with this knife what is what is you're talking about? You're being chased. Is it like a Cthulhu thing? And then you also mentioned there's like extra dimensional beings. Is that, that, that also that's what Cthulhu? this is. It's a little it's a little extra dimensional being that looks kind of like. Uh, did you ever play Until Dawn or see any playthroughs of Until Dawn? Not that I can remember. Hmm. It's like a large, gangly. It's called the Shambler, and it sh it's a pretty accurate description of something that you would see shambling. Yeah. Uh. I want to see where he is. I have pop so, up in just a second. So but, you're investigating, right? Um, but are you investigating into like these Cthulhu things or the I'm investigating. Humans? I'm investigating. Well, I'm brought to this town to um, oh uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm brought to this town to basically like solve or look into a murder that someone is convinced or a death that someone's convinced is a murder, mm -hmm. and they start talking about it. Oh yeah, here we go. But um. You start looking into the town, and much like some of the other Lovecraftian stories, you start finding, you know, everyone's really hostile towards you. There's a vague mystery of, like, eldritch beings and weird stuff from the sea, and you have to start looking into it and seeing, 
you know, oh, the mystery you're investigating is a lot deeper than I thought. Yeah. And. Oh, boy. Yes. That is. The Shambler. And there are, you do start to have hallucinations, and some of the things that you do see are not real. So you have to kind of balance your insanity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that thing, that's it. Yeah. I, 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 I do find I do find this the, the, this game decided where to spend its resources on like NPC and the creepy crawly enemies are the best looking like yes models in the game I've seen so far absolutely so they they, they knew where to spend their uh, uh, dollars very well but yeah yeah and I've I've recorded a much further past this point and uh, I I don't want I mean. Spoilers, if you want to, you can just say spoilers. I'd like to spoil. There's a point where I get a gun, mm-hmm. and that shit is great. Because <laughs> I because like, limit the ammo. Or? Well, the, 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 I didn't realize I limited the ammo mm-hmm. at first, because there's a part where like a whole bunch of the townspeople get, um, I guess, kind of hypnotized or brain or brain controlled or whatever, and you know they're just all shambling around, you know, trying to kill me. And I just run up. I'm just popping every single one that I see. No, no. none. And I'm not like getting bad, like evil points for the game it or anything. Telling you you failed. The game. No, just, the game's like, like, all right. If I murder all of you, I know who the killer is. Yeah, it's, keep going. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not making me lose sanity points. Yeah. I just, you know. I'm just gonna deal with y'all because mm-hmm. there's so many of them. But uh, well, one thing like also like like I'm seeing right here, like if you hide, you do start to glow, glow, go slightly more insane. Okay. I hate. It. Look at him. Oh, oh no. come on now. Terrible times. God. Yeah, they made those enemies look really good. <laughs> yeah, much better than a lot of the very very scary looking. Um, Humans, yeah. Yeah, at times I just I already know he caught me and I'm like ah yeah. I'm out. It looks good. Like it looks interesting. I don't I, I, like all the different mechanics in it. It kind of sounds like you were saying it didn't balance well, but they all sound very interesting. Yeah, it. I'm. I, I saw a couple of video essays. I, just, I can't remember which ones, but there were ones basically on like why a part of the their theories on why it's difficult to create like a Lovecraftian or Cthulhu esque game. Because well, it's all. Yeah, a lot of it's really. That's why weird. it works in books. Is it's all psychological. Like I mean, I guess yeah. you could do a. I think a good, and this is, this is reaching way old, back into the olden times, mm. a, a choose-your-own-adventure Lovecraftian kind of thing, I think would be cool, you know? And that's why that's yeah. why I think, like, board games with it work really well. I think oh, board yeah. games work really well with it. I don't think a video game does because... Not traditional, what I think most people want, which is yeah. the first person, I'm mm-hmm. doing the stuff. It's like, well, yeah, not really. Yeah, because you're not really supposed to fight back. I mean... You don't really I be mean, able hey, to. hey, do you want to go on to... The true, I think, Cthulhu, uh, 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 you know, Lovecraftian inspired a, a, a game that 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 does very well with that genre. Uh, the Darkest Dungeon. That Darkest Dungeon. Oh, that Let's darkest just dungeon. jump on oh, over no. to Darkest oh, Dungeon, and we can talk. No, there's this, been uh, there's been a, there's been there's a... been some developments in it, and I will say that uh, I've played a little bit more of it, and uh, York here has played some too. Um, and he's actually had one of the rites of passages of call of uh, Darkest Dungeon, where you know it's a tough dungeon. You got someone bleeding out, someone on death's door. Well, my you know. my my big problem that I that I started this dungeon, I started buying things, and that I realized I didn't have any money for torches. Yep. So I go <laughs> into this dungeon with no torches, and I'm like, fuck, I can't, I can't. And I, I don't have any food. I don't have anything. I am screwed. And so I just keep fighting, and I'm already almost dead here. Yeah. Like, I am... They're just some bone rabble out here bashing me to pieces, making an absolute fool of me, and wiping my party out. I was... I I had had no idea that there was a um, a runaway feature, Mm -hmm. so I just got slowly slaughtered. Oh, you you, you did get someone who had a... Yeah. See... That is one strategy. If you have no, if you want to go with no torches, mm. you get a whole party of people who are like, I don't care about the darkness. Oh Let's god! Go in, and they just that's keep a... buffing de-stress, de-stress on everyone. Every that's game. a brilliant idea. Yeah. Oh, the, the way okay. This game is because like this game is very easily like not very easily, but like the balance in this game is like you're fighting against the random number generation, mm. and the fact that you can get characters in your parties who have these features that 
when they get to the stress level 10, they're like, we all got this. We need yeah. to work together and be strong and, you know, the holy light will see us through or whatever. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And with that, it'll de-stress the whole team. And if you stack four of those people in a team... They're all going to be just calming each other down. Yeah, they're all going to be de-stressing uh, each other. So that's how you get through the longer dungeons and eventually the darkest dungeon. The darkest dungeon. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. No. Oh, because also I got them kind of... I got them flipped mm-hmm. in certain... Yeah. Po- and then I got... That's, that's, I couldn't yeah. have them in certain you, you, positions for them to be used. Mm-hmm. So, ah, oh, it was such a mess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. P- p- posi- I don't exactly like the way they do positioning in this game. Um, yeah. To, to, they do it fine. Like, it's fine sticking with the 2D style and everything. But, yeah, no. the, the You got to worry about positioning in this game. You got to worry about, um, of course, health, stress, all of that. And also classes and then classes individually have like six uh, abilities they can all randomly get and you can get access to all of them eventually but yeah no and i i i you know why this works you know why this works in the lovecraftian sense because it's forcing you to go through the psychological stress of losing control and not being able to kill these monsters that are defeating all of your which if you this is the fun thing. You can like rename these guys. Yeah. You can name. Yeah, you can customize them. I'm like, no. You can be like Stevo, my best bud, oh, and it's God. like, no, Stevo, you're no! dying. But that's really uh. how they get into the, the the love crafting of it. Is like you're doing all the strategy, you're doing all the planning, you're you're super uh uh uh. You're, 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 you get you're, connected. You're really connected in like a mental like planned it out. I did all this prep work for it. We're gonna succeed. Maybe we can, maybe if we just push a little more, we'll be fine. TPK, you know, TPK. you know, it's just, you, you just keep wanting to push it a little bit more, like in the Lovecraftian sense of, I want to know the truth, I need mm-hmm. to find the truth, and it'll set you crazy. But yeah, oh No, but, but it's not a traditional video game. It's, it's not. not. first person, you know, it's, 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 it's a whole different kind of video game. But I, I, I would say it's one, of, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite games, but truly it is... I do enjoy it quite a bit. Oh. I would I would recommend this game to a lot of people if they enjoy turn based, um, like kind of like dungeon crawling games because oh. this is this is a lot of fun because like I like games like XCOM and that's not similar but it's a you, you go on a, you go on a mission mm-hmm. you have I mean this one you have supplies there's, but you go on a mission with an objective there's a certain area you're allowed to yeah. uh, work in and you know it's turn based combat and moving and I'm like that's great yeah I'm I love it yeah. uh uh the terrible sting coming back from a tpk yes god yes uh, i do love that they do also just give you like more people to use oh yeah no there's always there's always more warm bodies yes 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 <laughs> but uh no good lovecraftian horror darkest dungeon very tpk well. T- uh, uh yeah check out uh york corpse tpk on his uh <laughs> darkest dungeon part three. watch me slowly crumble in the middle of a fight <laughs> just slowly realizing Oh, I'm not gonna win this. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. I'm not gonna win this. Because I thought I could at least get like a couple torches. I couldn't find any. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah. I was well, left out. And, and I don't know if it affects it, but like, I do know the light level. Yeah. Does affect the enemies. I don't know if it affects what you find. Because like that would if, make sense. Keep, that would make a lot of sense. If you keep light level above ninety percent. There's like a 50-50 chance that when you run into enemies and they don't surprise you or ambush you, mm. that they get ambushed or surprised, and then you get a free round on them. That's, that's true. Why, that's why That's why. I'm always like, torch, 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 torch. torch. Dang it. You're good. No, no, it's just a, a lot of things I have to consider, because I want to play more of it, because I want to get good at it, because I like it a lot. Oh, I mean, but like you were saying with Darkest Dungeon, like, it's nice. You can just open it up, you know, wa- wa- watch, watch some, you know... Of your of your great compatriots who you fought with forever, just slowly go insane in a dungeon. And then be like, ones you build, yeah, ones you send to the tavern, ones you know you you, you spend money on yeah. for uh, for new moves, and it's like ah, oh, they're 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 dead. That was a good five minutes, a uh, good break. Let me get back to you know. <sighs> sad times, sad times. Sad, very 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 sad. Poor poor poor. Um, what do you, you have something you want to share next? Uh, I did. You talked about a roguelike, the forest in the forest. Yes, um, I did. I'd like to talk about a roguelike that I did a first impression on. Ooh. Um, I don't. F- I don't know if you've heard of it, but it is the uh, flame in the flood. I have not heard of this before. It's. Uh, I'm gonna. Of course, it's gonna. Of course, start out with some menus here. But mm. That's just. That's just. I'm a menu viewer. There we go. There we, no menus. So. Yes. It's roguelike. Um, it's a uh, very some. I mean, 
there's polygons. Um, <laughs> so, like, it's at least 3D. But you're always kind of stuck in this view. You can't zoom in or out too much. Um, oh, what they call it. Uh, you're, you're trapped in a post-societal world. Not a post not a post apocalyptic world. Post societal. Interesting. Um, but it's basically like a survival roguelike game. Okay. Um, you can find resources, you can do crafting, um, you have health and stuff. You can get like if you get too wet and you don't dry off after a certain time, you can get a disease. Mm-hmm. You may not, but if you get wet, there's always the chance that you can get it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um yeah, you can see there's tons of crafting. Uh, some things are unlocked, some things aren't. Um, yeah, it's, it's very much, uh, yeah. Re- resource management. Hunger management. Well, that's, it... that's a resource I would say. Oh yeah, it's fair, it's fair, it's fair. But yeah, yeah it's yeah. like resource management, crafting, if you want to call it that, you know. To me, this game is very much like you collect everything you can find and hold in your pack, mm-hmm. right? And then if you can craft it to use it, you craft it to use it. Okay. Um, but yeah, but you actually have like, you have like your backpack, your dog's backpack, and, uh, like, you have a storage on the boat you're on because you're on a raft. Okay, cool. You're on a raft, and you're going essentially down the river. Um, it seems like a, not like a super flooded river, but, like, a very fast-moving, you know, he- big river. And you stop from place to place, and there's different kinds of locations. But in the roguelikeness of it, it all changes. If you die, oh. all the locations change, Right. And all the individual locations themselves are, like, randomly generated. Oh, So okay. you'll go around yeah. and you'll be like, oh, that's the same car, but it's now in a different, you know, so. Okay, okay. Yes. Oh, yes, here's the little rafting thing. You have uh, <laughs> both your repair and your speed and everything. And you'll see, I mean, it's just point and click when you're walking around or whatever. But as soon as you get on the boat, it gets a little bit, in my opinion, the boating is the challenging part. Uh, um, I mean, you're, in, seven, you're in control of the boat? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I, well, because it's a raft. Like, to start out with, like, it's very difficult. Because, like, you can, like, see you, like, push. You, like, click in the direction. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. But then you have stamina where you can, like, give an extra push in whatever direction you're going in to, like, avoid obstacles. Those are currents, kind of, yeah? Uh, you can see light currents there kind of on. But you'll get in, like, rapid areas, like, where mm. it's, like, you're going. Um, but yeah, I, it's good. Um, I just did a first impression. I might review it fully. Cause like I said, I don't know how much of a story is there because like, I was like, I ran into like, I think like two NPCs, right? Cause okay. I, I, I did die once during my first impression. Yeah. You'll see the rapids uh, up here. So, oh, once you get oh into, yeah, 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 yeah. Once you get into the rapids, you kind of want to use your push to like avoid obstacles and just like hope you don't get slammed into something repeatedly. Oh no. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not too hard to control, but it is a little... You gotta get used to it. No, no, that's <laughs> absolutely fair. And but is this typically how you travel throughout the game? This is the only way you travel. This is the only way you travel throughout the game. You, so, I left a location, and now I'm on the river, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, you'll see it in a little bit, but there's little docking areas that, like, have different icons. Either, like, a farm, a campground, a... Uh, what is it called? Oh, yeah. See, there I hit ah. an obstacle in the river. Took a little bit of damage. Um... But And then there's, like, docks where you can repair and upgrade your ship and everything. So there's different areas that allow you to get different resources, but you never know exactly what that area is going to have, the exact quantities or any, you know, you just don't know until you land. Yeah. Um, and, of course, time is always passing, both on the river and while you're, yeah, Harry, get hit again. Yeah. You can sometimes get kind of stuck mm. where you kind of just have to go with the flow of the river because I'm almost out of stamina down there. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. generates it. back up. Huh. No, very good, very interesting. Really, yeah, I like the style of it. I it's, like the art style of it. I like it's, the. Uh... It's low polygon, but mm. like it works for the game. Um, let's see if I go to. Yeah, I go to a little campsite here. So yeah, you go and you dock wherever, and that's where you get resources. But I, like I said, I don't know what story there is other than you going down a river because like I've run into like one or two NPCs and they've been like, oh, how are you doing? Take this thing, and, you know, if you need help and. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can get you can get tasks and collect stuff from these mailboxes. They're they're pretty easy. Like you know, make a campfire. I think this one is. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's uh, cool. Mm. And they're kind of the tutorial of the game. But yeah, like every like every area is randomly generated. So like, this area. Okay, there. Thankfully, there's a fire here. There's some moldy stuff. Let me take that. Okay. Yeah. So. Just looting supplies. You're just looting supplies in every area. I mean, sometimes you'll find supplies on the river, but yeah. 
I, I really, I really want to know what the, what the, if there is any, you know, story. Yeah, if to there's a story, it looks like it'd be something that would have a story. It looks... Oh yeah, oh yeah, there are enemies that will kill you. Ah. And I think this, it's either here or later that a boar wrecks my shit. Oh no. Well, because one will hit you and you'll get like a broken bone and a laceration, and then they'll hit you. And then, again. yeah, and you're done. Yeah, because as soon as you got a broken bone or whatever, although campfires, you'll see little safe area ah, so campfires and like i think the dock i think the dock and your boat are both safe areas where like you're good you're okay. fine it's mm. got uh it's not like i don't want to call it country but it's got mm. more relaxed you know slower beat you know so, okay so, some more uh kind of atmosphere oh yeah this is the one where i think i get my shit wrecked you no. can see i already have a broken leg or something from the boar no and once i've got that i've slowed down and now i'm trying to dodge there is no dodge Oh, no, no, which, like, roll or jump no, or something? which I thought there, you know, since your ship has, like, a lunge kind of ability, I thought, you know, maybe you get, yeah, oh. broken bone. Oh. And the thing is, once you get injured in this game, you have to be able, you either have to have in your inventory already or be able to craft the things that will heal you. Mm. So if you get a broken bone, uh, let's need, see, yeah, need. let's see if I look at my, yeah, so every, they all have timers on them. So if you have a laceration or a, blo a broken bone, it can heal without you doing anything to it, or it can result in something worse. But if it, even if it heals, e you'll have like a permanent limp in the game. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's but see, cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's it's a very good roguelike um, from what huh. I've seen so far. Yeah. In the flame in the flood. The, the flame, flame. The flame. The flame in, in the, the flood. flood. Yes. Mm. It's very good. One I will have to check out. Oh, for it's sure. Very fun. And uh, I, I, your next one, what game you got, boy? Uh, I got some uh, some quick updates on some ones I'm currently playing. Okay. Uh, you mentioned The Forest. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have just a really quick update on that one. We're, 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 uh, you are... Mm -hmm. The Forest. Oh, yeah, The there. Forest. I Mainly, I have found a little island because I was taken apart and murdered by uh, natives that found me. Yes, the natives you mentioned uh, last time were I, very hostile. Yeah, they immediately beat me up, mm -hmm. killed me. Oh, they didn't kill me. They took me to a um, a oh, cave. Oh, you... Oh, what? Yeah, they, they beat me up, took me to a cave, and then I had to fight my way out, but they killed me on my way out. Okay. So I had to restart. But wait. Then, okay, go back. Yes. They beat you up. They they beat me up, took me to a cave. Did you, like, go unconscious in the game? At the I went, yeah, I went okay. unconscious, yeah. But, but they, they came to my house you. and they beat me up. No, they didn't kill me. They took me back to a cave. Okay. And then I had like a lighter and I think then I had like the hatchet at one point and it was like, what do you do? And I started like going through this cave and there's blood and skulls and everything everywhere. So I had to like try and find my way out. Um, yeah. And there were just tons of them that weren't like the people that beat me up. They were like all completely like pale and... Well, they're the cave folk. They're the cave folk, yeah. yeah. So they weren't... So just currently in this one, I have found a little island. Where you I, think you're safe. Where I think I'm safe. Um, tune in uh, to my next episode to quickly find out uh, what happens and if I truly am safe. But... Um, you're, yeah, you're never safe, I don't think. No. But, yeah. uh, but I have been... Uh, Currently, just in this episode, I'm just really just gathering supplies, getting logs, That's what chopping trees is. down. It's yeah, kind of what we described, you know, kind you of have, we described. To have supplies to sleep at night to have energy for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about um, doing like a couple days at a time where I'm just doing that, so I can actually have some progress, and they don't just watch me chop down trees. I don't think that's. This I mean, most I, riveting gameplay. I mean, I gotta ask, you know, why don't you just get your redstone machines up and automate this stuff? My redstone machine? Minecraft. There's, there's oh. so many, in Minecraft, there's so many gathering techniques where it's just like, yeah, just get your redstone. Oh, gotcha. I, I, I wonder if this game has more complex um, stuff. And, and did I tell you? I mean... People have, like, gone full Minecraft on this game already. I know. I've they've looked made, up some like, stuff up. They've made, like, roller coasters and stuff. And it's, it's insane. Like, is it... Question. When you, like, go to the main menu, there's not, like, a sandbox mode, right? So, there's a menu where essentially you get, like, a, if you saw me, like, I pulled up the little sled right there. Mm -hmm. There's, there's like, set things you can build. Yes. But there's also, like... But you can only play, like, story mode. Like, you can't go in and make a sandbox mode where there's no enemies or you're invul invulnerable or whatever. Yeah, not that, not that I'm... I okay. mean, there might... Maybe there might be... The game. Maybe. There might be, like, a creative mode or something. Mm -hmm. I don't think I saw one. 
Because... So some real hardcore players going balls to the wall against these natives. Literally. Chopping down hundreds of... Clearing out all these trees. And you can make, like... Um, like an H- 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 H2O. Oh, an H2O. Marshall. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Sorry, I should have... You're good. You're good. Um, yeah, but, like, all of these... Mm-hmm. There's a point where, like, you can do um, a fence line out of all these logs and you you have to like physically click the different points of like how many logs you want to go up so it's a uh, there's a point where you can just kind of make whatever you want yeah and it's a uh, it's like like it's this, it's wild to th- see this game definitely seems like something i need to check out but like uh, uh my brother uh, uh my brother got me um a spaceship game, which I'm like, this looks great, man. Uh, I can't dump this much time into it. That's fair. Yeah, it's one, of the, fair. it's one of those games where it's like, oh, yeah, I can see the... I can, I can see the... The appeal. The, the, the yeah. appeal and the coming back to it repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly and always wanting to do a little bit more. Oh, my God. But, yeah, no, not not yet. That That's one of those games where if I'm ever, like... Where if I'm ever going to stream for an extended period, you know, maybe I'll take a Christmas break or something and just be like, we're just streaming this whole week. Um, <sighs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, like, this one... I, I'm. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna go ham like that. I think I, I'm just gonna like yeah. find Timmy, yeah. my son, and then and try I do and admit, end it. Like the thing I like about this game that makes it interesting to me is like there is that story there. Yeah. There is that interesting thing where like you got taken by the natives, but they didn't kill you immediately. Even though, basically, once you were taken back as a captive, I mean, the odds of you getting out of there and being able to recover at all were super low. Very. So narratively, why did the game? Why did the developers? of the game wants you to get captured, you, you know? Because I totally thought I was dead. Yeah. I totally thought, like, you, oh, I was dead. Yeah. And then, like, it went, it went, the screen went black, and then it kind of woke up, and I was like, I'm alive? Mm-hmm. What are they going to do to me? Well, I didn't really find out. Well, here's where I would here's where I would have played that game differently. I would have woken up and been like, all right, I'm not touching anything. Let's see what this game's got in store for me. I want to oh. see what you had planned for here. Let's see... See what happens? Do the NPCs just mill about and look at me and wait for me to do something? Yeah, or? well, I mean, they, uh... Like yeah, if, if I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna go yeah. back in, mm-hmm. hopefully with a gun or something. <laughs> have you are, have you discovered or crafted a gun yet? No, okay, I have not crafted there. a gun. You'll get there. I, I, I'll find something. I'll find some... There is... You can craft a livered... Livered? Lizard skin armor. Yeah, you, yeah. So, and that is a, one thing I'm definitely, uh going to be aiming for to just go in there looking like a lizard man to just attack them for sure do, me, do me a favor please mm. if you ever get captured again just chill just chill and see what the game does that's yeah i yeah. want to see if the game breaks at that point in the game just like hey we're natives yeah we're you're chilling here hot well it was the cave people at that point that were in there yeah yeah the the native cave people not native, the native cave outside pe- people yeah yeah because they're very they're very different uh, the, yeah, the rest I, of the game at that point is just you integrating into cave people society. Dude, if I if that customs. was if it, if I had a cave person simulator, I would be that. I don't know if I, I think I would play that. I think I would play that. You, you do. You just haven't noticed. <laughs> oh dang it! <laughs> the forest uh, uh, sequel, the cave, but it's in the same game. Yeah, but they're not actually the same point. <laughs> but that one, that's just a, that's just a small little update on that one. But that and uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect, yes. Yes, because one of the uh, ongoing ones. I basically, uh, I picked up Dr. Liara to Sony, mm-hmm. and uh, I was like, you know what, I need. To, I should go back to the Citadel, and I should start, I should have some antics going on. I need to take care of some stuff, mm-hmm. so then I can go get those missions that also were in the same cluster that mm-hmm. I found her in, so I wanted to get that completed. Went to the Citadel, and talking to people, basically just telling them to shove it. Like, literally everybody, mm-hmm. since I stepped on, like, this rear admiral, he's like, hey, I want to look at your ship. And I said, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you. And, uh, you know, the reporter mm-hmm. that's down there, you know, she wants to talk and hang you, out. You, you given some good right hooks so far? How many, how many, how many, yes. uh, uh, Shepherd mixed sandwiches have you given out? <laughs> Not, enough. Not enough. I got, I gave that one to the reporter that you'll see in a minute. Mm-hmm. But, um, other than that, oh, this galaxy needs some discipline. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so choppy. Oh, yeah, here, oh, yeah. Like I, like I said, man, new new rig. New, yeah. Oh, all I know that new yep. com, that new computer. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hear it whirring or just spinning. It's gonna be a great time. Oh yeah. But um, I haven't got a chance to see it with the new graphics yet, so I'm excited. Like, but, like, yeah, like I said, like it holds up, especially with the film grain. Oh, um, I'm excited. No, yeah, I will. Yeah, Ma- Mass Effect. Um, 
Have you had any glitches? Uh, I've had a couple. Not like game breaking, just small stuff here and there. Uh, well, yes, yes, I've had I've had a couple. Game uh, breaking? Not game breaking, oh, okay, but yeah, but um. Like what were they? Yeah. Uh, sometimes the person who I would be talking to would would just disappear, mm-hmm. or just wouldn't be there, or would be turned around or facing the wrong direction. Uh, sometimes I'll clip through the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I guess it is kind of game breaking because I die. Oh yeah. Well, um, if, but if, but if, I come back. I come back. Yeah. I'm I'm on the right. Yeah field yeah. technically yeah t- to me if it's a glitch that like kills you pretty quickly it's like well it's not a glitch then it's just a you know yeah. unexpected death for me to reload annoying but yeah here we go baby give it to me oh so you're just you're not even using the renegade option well for this one no she deserves this you you want to truly her, yeah. she, yes yeah. she deserves this as soon as possible you gotta admit shepherd and mass effect one's got a damn strong <laughs> right amazing hook. just one <laughs> hit to the face and she's on her hands and knees like damn shepherd <laughs> Just immediately. I know, I know you're in the military and everything, but damn, God, <gasps> I love it. Oh gosh. But um, um, yeah. The only glitch I've had was uh, I think Navaria. Mm. Right when you go into the hot labs, did your suit, did all of the suit I, textures on you and your characters turn to black boxes? I have not gotten there yet, Look, so I will, I will, I will keep my eye out for keep it. Because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I got out of the Mako, and like as soon as I went through the threshold of the doorway into Navaria mm. hot labs. Black box. The hot labs, just like, um, not the main port, but you drive your Mako out to the, I think it is the hot labs or site 13, whatever. But yeah, right. As soon as I got, it didn't break the game. Good. It just looked funky as crap. And like, mm. as I went through there, like, oh, people's helmets came back. Oh, and then their armor came, like, it yeah, came yeah, back yeah. in steps. Just like part by part. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't understand because I even tried like reloading at different points from back and uh, Every single time, as soon as I went to, it must be a texture or some, or a, uh, it might be a 3D thing they're adding in because you're mm. in the hot labs. So yeah. Maybe that. I don't know. It wasn't game breaking. I could still shoot and everything. It was just really funky. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a. Uh, it's it's definitely weird to see some of those. Oh wow! It's so choppy. I didn't realize that. <laughs> it's it's all good, man. It is. There, there's more, there's more solid points. It's good. It's this playable. Is this is true. Playable. It is playable. It is playable. Very playable is what matters. Yeah, baby. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's all really I have updated for Mass Effect. I will go to Novaria next, actually, because I needed a. Nice. I needed something. Is Novaria the your the last of your first three missions or? It's my second. Okay, so you did the little... uh, yes. in Novaria. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I, I have two more updates. Okay. Not on Mass Effect. No, on Mass Effect, yes. Right, you good? Uh, the next one I have is for my Oblivion playthrough. Mm-hmm. I finished the Crusade uh, DLC. I yeah, I saw that. And now I've decided to uh, start my Shivering Isles playthrough. Mm, jumping right in there. Jumping right Be in first. there. I was like, you know what? We we did a Holy Crusade. What Let- level are you? I don't remember. <laughs> I should probably know that. No, it's, fine. it's probably I'm not really probably at an appropriate level because most things really are kind of smacking the shit out of me. But um, I went through Mania first, mm-hmm. and I and I left off where I um I got to Shiagorath in his chamber and I started talking to him and he got a, I got my first quest from him. Yeah. But um. I thought you were going a uh, a uh, uh, wizard. Are you doing heavy armor lizard? <gasps> Uh, heavy armor wizard for right okay. now. I'm I'm using this to at least protect myself because everything almost one shot kills me. It's a good strategy, heavy so, armor wizard. It's good. Yeah, a, a, a battle mage of sorts. Mm-hmm. But um, that's that's always what I would do was like a cleric battle mage, because in Oblivion you can cast without having to switch what's in your hand. Sorry, I'm good. I'm yes, good. I'm good. It's so nice. Oh, man. But uh. Yeah, I I enjoy the uh, I I hate it. You're already over encumbered. I, I hate it when I'm over encumbered. That's my that's my biggest yep. pet peeve. Yep. But nothing too crazy. Just getting on with the Oblivion playthrough. I'm enjoying. I always enjoy the Shivering Isles DLC. I it's so much. I mean, every time I play Oblivion, there's new content, mm-hmm. or I feel like I'm I'm seeing new content for the first time. Yep. And that even more so with like the Shivering Isles DLC because. I didn't get that till much later with playing it, and it's just so much fun. I do notice it. Um, uh, I don't know. I notice it a little laggy. Yeah, I mean that's that's probably the computer mainly. Well, I don't know about the. Mm, it, it's it's oblivion. Like I, do, I have lag at times. That's fair. That's <laughs> it's it's fair. oblivion. Um, and also I would check. Um, are you using controller on it? 
thought yes. Were. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I am because I, I originally yeah. played it on the 360, mm-hmm. so that's just how I know how to yeah. Yeah. deal with it You're easily. Good. Yeah. No. On PC has a problem with Bethesda games where it won't automatically um, lock the cursor to the window. Yeah. It's annoying. It's very annoying. Um, it looks good. Looks beautiful. Yeah. And then I have uh, my final little update, little which update. is not a little update, but um, the Republic Commando mm-hmm. is uh, I finished the second arc of the game and am now transitioning to the, the last arc of the game at Kashyyyk, where we're just fighting a whole bunch of slavers. Kashyyyk or Kashyyyk? Kashyyyk. I say Kashyyyk because okay. it looks like Kash in the beginning of the of the word. Okay. And... I mean, if I wanted to say it, I'd probably say it with like, like I really want to say it. it's like <laughs> like Wookie, like Wookie language. Yes. But um. Wookiean. Wookiean. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, yeah. nothing too crazy. It's uh, I, I I feel weird playing it again. I feel like it, maybe the playthrough is a little stale because it's this game I've played so many times. But I mean, you might feel that, but. It's what, always, what, what you haven't noticed is you're actually setting a new speed running record for the Oh, uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> Which is something else I want to talk about. Well, that's for later, that's for later, that's for later. Okay, okay. But, um, yeah, that's all I really have for updates for the games I've uh, been playing. Or I've just been... Uh, working on. Working on, or just I went ahead and published all of them because they're from the old computer, and yeah. I want to get them. You you, you, you want to get that choppy quality up? Yeah, I want to get a, a nice clean transition into the uh, the next era of the Yort Corp, okay. which um, yeah. I think will probably be not. I don't know, because this will well, we'll, I don't know when it'll come out, but you'll know probably like a week or two. It'll it'll, it'll be on your channel, right? Yes, it'll be on my channel. channel. You can see it on my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Yort Corp. Yeah. Do it, please, do and it. a formal bust if you feel like it. Please, please do, please do. What do What do I have to talk about? Yeah, um, Frostpunk. Just, Frostpunk, yeah. What you? Been? I'm working on it on the review. It's just I'm very mechanics focused, and Frostpunk. There's just so much that I want to get into the because it all is. It's all. It's like you have your laws, you have the people you have to satisfy, you have your resources, you have heating, and then it's all intertwined, and it's like. Mm-hmm. It's well balanced and good, but it has some problems. <laughs> but yeah, and, is it? Do you think it's? Do you think it's overwhelming to the point where it's like the game, the developers or designers, developers, developers didn't want like it's not unplayable, but like it's too, is too much. No, I don't think it's too much. It's just, so in my opinion, like what you can do, like it's a well balanced, well done, like mechanically focused game. Mm-hmm. But when you go into endless mode, which I understand why it's like this, because when they first put out the game, they were just planning on putting out the game with, like, I think it was, like, four or three scenarios initially, and they were going to add a couple more scenarios. Mm. And the problem with scenarios is they're, most of them are, like, 30, like, they're around 30 to days or a little bit more, right? That, like, the scenario's like, oh, in 30 days we have to have accomplished this task or yeah. whatever for yeah. the city. And so all their scenarios are designed around that. And so you're limited by time if you can play the game in that scenario. And when you get to the end of it, it does a cool, you know, snapshot thing of, like, each day, like, quick in front of your eyes, you can see your city grow. Yeah. That's very nice and cinematic. And you have the uh, the scenario-specific, um, like, events that happen in the game, right, as you progress through it. But when you put that into an endless mode, it's like, okay, the only story bits you get are story bits that are either based off of, like, the technology you discover mm-hmm. or the laws you enact. Okay. So, at that point, you only have, like, two pathways of laws you enact. You need to discover all the technologies, especially if you're going to be on the harder difficulties. And, like, you're just... You are limited at a certain point in the coal, in the uh, resources you can produce. Okay. Because, like, uh, the only thing that isn't limited is coal production and uh, food production. Those are completely limited. Those are those are only limited by your um, the amount of people you have in your city, which does max out. I noticed the game stops giving you people after like 650. Ha, okay. But at that point, okay, whatever. I can, you know, I mean, the most worker intensive places employ 15 people. So, okay. Yeah. Like you can get infinite like you can get infinite food and coal because you can just keep making them, but things like steel and wood 
there's set limited uh, places on the map where you can build things that get you wood and steel, and there's only like two or three of them. So th- okay. th- there's limits to the game, especially in end game. Um, I, I don't know. I think I think like in and, and actually, <laughs> you'll love this. Um, so Frostpunk, right? They're very much like, oh, steam power, and we're gonna survive. Now they're coming out with a new one that's diesel punk, I think. And in this one, I have uh, I, there's just a trailer out. I don't know much about it, but in yeah. this one, you have to overcome the challenges of expanding your cities and your borders and exploring the world because now the world's thawing again. Ah. And we've discovered diesel or something. I don't. Okay. Know. Yeah, but okay. it's like a slow thaw. It's not like oh, everything's warm again. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you know, it's because in endless mode, if you play endless mode every 15 days, there's a horrible snowstorm oh God. that drops the temperature ridiculously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Blizzard, like, yeah, 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 like, like I said, Frostpunk, I love it, especially this time of year, feeling like, oh, it's so cool, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good, but it's just like there's so much I want to say about it, and like, that's fair. You I want, want you... To, I want it to be good, yeah. I, I will say, Frostpunk overall, my banner, my, my, my brand, a formal bus says this, put that right at the bottom. Solid game for playing all the scenarios. Very challenging on all the difficulties. Well worth your, worth your time. Endless mode gets boring, but I understand why they didn't plan for that originally. Mm-hmm. Um, but it has the a formal bust seal of approval. Yes, yes. Frostpunk. I love it. It's a very compelling game. <laughs> um, and I guess I should have been showing some video of Frostpunk, but you know... That's okay. I have some videos of that, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, Frostpunk is there yeah. for them to enjoy. Yeah. You can go watch those videos. Uh, I wanted to... Yes. No, we talked about that. Yep. There is one game we need to talk about. Oh. There's one game, speaking of advancements and changes in the game. You have it somewhere. I do. Uh, Kator. Oh, I don't have it pulled up here. No, no, I don't have it... Uh... Oh, anything I recorded it. for I have it then. You do? I have Kator. You have Kator? I have Kator. Oh no. I do. Yes, very much I have Kator. We need to talk about this. Oh. Just because. Oh, this isn't. Oh, this is like, this is trial gameplay. I was hey seeing, man. I was, see, I was seeing if this, if this could even work. It did though. It did. It, well. <laughs> it's fine. It's well, fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Well, Kotor. It's being remade. Yes. They're remaking KOTOR. Yes. Like... I cannot believe LucasArts is back at it. Wait. Who? Who? Yeah. 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 It's... uh, It's... I don't like that it's a console-specific release Mm -hmm. that is annoying to me. We may may see it ported at some point, but yes. It probably will. And emulators exist always, but, you know, hush, hush, quiet, quiet. Shh. But, you know, I think I'm... This is this is probably my favorite game, one of my favorite games of all time. Yes, I could play this game a million times over, just because I love it so much. It doesn't matter if I play it the same way every time. Oh, yeah. I love this game. Well, you always play it as a heavy trooper focused on firearms, right? No, of course not. Why not? Because being a bounty hunter is a lot of fun, <laughs> or or being being a scoundrel is a lot of fun. Being someone who uses oh, guns. <laughs> look, yeah, like, but the problem is me playing it on this old computer. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Was, yes. Beautiful. Amazing. Immediately skipping to things. <laughs> but um, it's a, uh, I don't know, just I, I know that um, they're probably going to be using a lot of assets from the original game when it comes to dialogue, possibly. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe maybe music, I would imagine. They're probably going to be using a lot of the same themes, some of the same. Uh, but from what I understand, they're, uh, as a remake... It's not like going to be a different game. It's going to be basically the same exact game with some retouches, new mm-hmm. textures, new skins. Very, very much like I believe they did in Mass, in Mass Effect, mm-hmm. uh, the remake of Mass Effect. They, mm-hmm. didn't, they didn't, you know, completely change everything. No, it's, it's, it's basically the same story. And I doubt uh, if they use the the if they reuse some of the um, the dialogue from the characters. Like someone like Candorus, whose voice actor passed away years ago, I think they're imagine they're probably going to reuse a lot of his dialogue and maybe some of his unused dialogue that from the from the original game files if they're using those. I imagine they would. Yes. Um, I mean, but I'm also excited to see if they put in um, some cut content from the original. Like, mm-hmm. um, I didn't know about it until a couple months ago. Actually, like there was a, a planet called Slaheron that was supposed to be added in the game. There were a couple other like um, plot lines that were kind of left us un, not unfinished but they were 
they were unfinished in the game and they're just the files are still there somehow and crazy computer people have figured out how to get in there and figure it out but i'm excited to see what they do with it because it's i love this game i i just i just really hope that you know when they ship it they give you an extra monitor to put up with the wikipedia next to it yes. so you can play the game like it's meant to be <laughs> yes i mean absolutely re- really the main thing about kotor was there were so many times you'd be like do the thing where what when Who? how what huh? huh who gave me this I don't know where I am. This journal? What does it mean? There was journals, but there uh, th- was there quest markers at all? No. Yes, yeah, so there was no quest Are you markers. Me? You had to you have think gone to gonna... the location already. Yeah. Or like, I think you had a map, and the map had like names of regions. You yeah, had. that's had, what you had. It had specific locations. You could. The only fast travel that there was mm-hmm. was there was uh, you could on some planets you could fast travel back to your ship. Yes. And you could transit back, but only to that location. Mm -hmm. And in some areas, I don't know what its decision-making process was, but only in some areas you couldn't transit back and forth. Yes. And I was like, well, why can't I do it here? And why can't I do it not here? This Mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. So I I wonder, I hope they add some kind of fast travel element. Some map markers, maybe. Some, some, yeah. Just some kind of indication of where you're supposed to go, because the reason, part of the reason I love this game so much, is because I am so well acquainted with every single like quest you can go through, every single option you can find. You had to know it. I had, to, had know to, it. to know it. I was in there in Wikipedia, looking through all this stuff, you know, figuring out where to go, being like, okay, this is this dialogue option. I follow this. I can unlock yep. these things. So it's, I'm, I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have to do my own review of it, definitely. For sure. But uh, probably when it gets ported, because I don't know about getting a PS5. Oh, God. Good lord. Uh, that, uh, just, just, just. I think it's just like a year wait time right now. It's good fine. lord. It's, fine. it's totally fine. Yes. No. Definitely looking forward to the Kotor remake. Uh, yes. Oh, that's something I'm definitely. Yes. I'm excited to hear from. Excited to see what the reviews are. Well, yes. That always, always what the reviews are. Yes. Um, hmm. should we talk about new things or things we're looking forward to? There was, I wanted to talk about one other. Oh? Just because, I don't think I talked about it on here, but we have touched on Fallout before, and I have talked about 76, which, bleh. Yeah. Literally, the only good thing about 76 is, I want to explore the world, but, like, any open world game can give you that. And, yeah, so... um, Much better from 4 or 3 or New Vegas. Literally any other open world... uh, Open world game, the open world game simulator? Yeah. Same level. Great. Uh, Which is disappointing, because with the amount of they've hyped up 76, it was like, come on now, this is... Have some kind of... Well, in my opinion, what people wanted... This is just my opinion, you know? Give it to me. Oh, sure, sure, Um, sure. To me, people wanted... The actual, like, they wanted to be able to play co-op o- over the online with people in the worlds they had. Yeah. Right? That's, yeah. to me, what it seemed like. It didn't seem like, oh, I want an MMO always online world where I am both always in everyone else's world, but we're never in the same world server, but I can pay to have my own private server, but ugh. It was just, to, to me, that's very much a uh, game as a service. Yeah, it uh, it yeah. Wasn't, very, wasn't very, I don't know, it, it promised to be a lot of things, and it, it, it fell flat on just about all of them, all from what them, I understand. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it just didn't really... Yes, and uh, thank you for filling time. Oh, no, it's short, because, I mean, you think about, you think about, you think about, a series like Fallout that's gone through so many different changes. It's gone from kind of like that tabletop thing. It's uh, a- a- aspect. It's gone from like a not a 3D, 2D kind of thing, but like um, I'm trying to say with like Fallout 2. It's just changed forms very many times. Yeah, it has. And, and, and seeing it being changed and kind of maneuvered throughout the years, it's, it's, it's weird to see where it's gone. And an MMO is not I mean, it's not where I would take the series. No, and and I would say it's not even a traditional MMO. To me, it's... No. Yeah, and I mean, they added Battle Royale. 76, what the hell are you doing? Um, give me that world on a single-player 
you know, basis and I'll be able to play it and have fun with it. Yeah. But you know what game is great in the Fallout series? That fucking New Vegas, baby. That New Vegas, oh baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> New Vegas is amazing. New yeah. Vegas is so much fun. <laughs> what? There's a... I, I'm, I'm reminded of a... I don't know if I mentioned him on here. There's another YouTuber who does video games and stuff, and he just has, like, I think it's, like, a 30-minute long video of, like, Fallout New Vegas is good. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas is very good. Like, he's just... And it's, like, it's good. It's a good game. Which, um, it was... N from what I understand, the initial reviews were terrible. Well, because when it came out, I think when it came out, you had stuff like Skyrim coming out. Mm. And people were like, oh, all these new gen next gen engine which is always there's no such thing as next gen engine i can make a brand new engine today that re replicates the original tetris it's a new gen though so it's next gen. next gen yeah but at the time it came out i believe there was other games coming out that were using new in uh, game engines so people saw new vegas and were like oh it's just fallout 3 rewrapped which it is not but to, yeah to, to, to me i mean there's problems with fallout new vegas of course but like fallout, yeah fallout new vegas like you have the whole world. It's opened up before you. You can't it, go to certain parts of it immediately. It's it's very much... I mean, it's not even a dynamic world, but, like, as you progress through the main campaigns, whichever one you choose, the world changes, right? Very true. So the, the world isn't changing around you. The world's changing based on the timeline of the uh, main campaign. So that's good and everything. <sighs> but just, like, the... the... I think, just, I mean, to differentiate between 3 and, and New Vegas, 3, I mean, New Vegas cleaned up on, I mean, like, what a sequel should, cleaned up on so many oh, game yeah. mechanics, mm -hmm. uh, made, just made it, I don't want to say more fun, but just easier to play, mm -hmm. in a way, yeah. it, it made it so much more smoother, and that's what, that's what a game should, and I, I think, just because visually it looks kind of similar mm -hmm. to, to 3, in that the character models Hey, aren't they took out the whole green wash they true they filtered. They, filtered. they took that out <laughs> they added a, a yellow one but i even think like you know the the, the legion and the ncr mm -hmm. and and the casino families i think those three factions make a much i don't know they're it, it tells a different story and, it, and it's a different um it's a different way of maneuvering the the wasteland than i thought three three was yeah yeah and i mean not not to trash on the East Coastness of Bethesda, no, sure. but like with Bethesda, with Bethesda, I mean, I can understand them wanting to get away from the West Coast because like Fallout One and Two and everything, but like Fallout Three, DC, Fallout Four, Boston, Boston. Fallout uh, Seventy Six, West, West Virginia. Virginia. It's like, and I've even seen people talking about like we want to Fallout somewhere different. To me. From the Bethesda and uh, uh, era, and I know Obsidian was involved, of course, because New Vegas was Obsidian's. So, yeah, you know, that that was their version of it, in my opinion. Um, Fallout New Vegas is the different Fallout from Fallout Four, Fallout this, yeah. Three, Fallout Seventy Six. I mean, I'm not just saying like West Coast, East Coast. Like, not no, 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 no. The setting and everything seem a lot different. It, whenever I play Fallout Three or Fallout um, uh, uh, Four. Mm. They're very city orientated, right? Yeah. Fall, Fallout, Fallout uh, New Vegas, there is one city. I th well, there's one city, but it sprawls a bit, right? Like there's, Vegas. Some, there's some towns, but yeah, they're... Yeah, they're but, but, but yeah. like the Strip. Yeah, the, like strip. the strip. That's really like, it. That's a city, and I mean, I know engine limitations, they had to segregate it, which I thought was okay at the time, and nowadays I don't even care because I'm like, one button, oh, I'm loaded. Boop. Yeah. Um, but, like, there's one city, and it kind of sprawls. And then it, it felt, to me, New Vegas felt more like the wasteland should be empty, desolate, hard to get around. Yeah. <laughs> Which, like, that's what it should be. I mean, Fallout, Fallout 4 is hard to get around, but that's... Just put a jetpack on your suit of invincibility. <laughs> oh, man. No, Fallout New Vegas, uh, I love it. I would play it more, but um, there is one issue. There, there's one known issue where sometimes when you... Uh, load up your game and you're at the main menu and you click continue or you go to load a save it'll just sit and get hitched and stuck on your first loading screen ah do you know the 100 percent sure proof way to get around that how load a new game as soon as the thing starts opening uh, or start a new game as soon as it starts uh, the game starts starting click escape click load choose your load file <laughs> what 
It's just it's just a weird like hitch of something in the main menu code. So strange that for some reason when it goes when when you click continue or you choose your load file from the main menu for some reason the game hitches up on it. That's weird. Yeah, that's it's, real strange. There's weird stuff. Um, Thanks, Todd Howard. Um, I think that was you that bet. Was Obsidian. Not. <laughs> I'll still blame Todd okay. Howard. I don't give a shit. Okay. I don't know where he hey, is. Man. He's not sponsoring. H2O is sponsoring. He's not. H2O is sponsoring. Thank you, H2O. Todd Howard, uh, until you can play Skyrim on a molecule of dihydrogen monoxide, get out of my face. Get out. <laughs> I want to be able to port Skyrim onto my dead mother's corpse. <laughs> I mean, you could do that nowadays. You could, you know. Put a pacemaker in there. Well, no, you just turn her into ash and then turn the ash into a console and bada bing, bada boom. There we go. <laughs> Did you, you wanted to talk about future games you wanted to play? Yeah, just real quick because I actually have a computer that can run these games. Okay, I, I saw you playing something last night and I was like, Ooh. oh well, I actually, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna play. I don't know if I would play it for the channel. Doom, the original twenty six, not the original, but the, the original, the, the original, but, but the twenty sixteen of the original new Dooms, mm -hmm. uh, the, I, reboot. the reboot. I love it. <laughs> that's such a fun one. But also, it's a. Uh, it, I, I don't know if that's something. I don't, I might do it on like um. And this is something for like October for like kind of like spooky stuff. I want to do like a maybe a nightmare and like an ultra nightmare run of yeah, Doom kind of, yeah. or like um uh the survival mode in Alien Isolation. I could go back in that with a new computer mm -hmm. and get really scared cuz I'm terrible at survival. Cuz the only point of that game is to just hunt you down and you just run and hide and I'm terrible at that. Yep. So I think it'd be kind of entertaining. Um I the three games that I'm I, I want I'm gonna be starting up that I'm very excited for. Uh, Dark Souls. Which one? OG. One. I'm gonna start with one, baby. That half finished masterwork. Mm, amazing. I'm gonna be doing. I, I I think I have the DLC, so that'll be the first time I'm playing uh, Artorias the Abyss Walker. That'll be my first time playing it. Oh you. Oh okay. Yeah. I I I. I just, I got the Prepare to Die version, which I don't even know if it's still supported. Cause no. The Prepare to Die version, I think it's still supported. You just can't buy it new. Ah, uh, okay. That, cause I can't buy it on Steam. You, ha you have to buy the remake, right? Is that, what you're, is that what you're doing? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people were really pissed when the remake came out because Dark Souls has originally like, it's been multi-platform for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> When the remake came out, you saw everywhere, because, I mean, it used to be, and it used to be you couldn't even play co-op for a while. Oh, no. Because it was games for Windows Live. That's what mm. Dark Souls was, was games for Windows Live. <laughs> so, when Dark Souls lost that for a while, you couldn't connect to anyone. My and then finally, they reworked it and, and, and were like, okay, we fixed that. You don't have to connect to games to Windows Live anymore. Just, you know, connect like normal through the internet. That's so silly. But then, so everyone was like, for the longest time, Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. It's got everything in it. It's perfect. All what you need. Then they came out with the remake. You can't buy that anymore. You can't You right. can't buy original Dark Souls. I mean, you can buy it secondhand, of course. Like, if you were to find a physical copy of Dark Souls, Prepare to Die, you could, you could get it and you'd be fine. But you can't buy online digital download versions of Dark Souls, Prepare to Die, or even the original Dark Souls. Mm. You have to get the remake because they want you to get the remake. Great. Which, like... I will say this, of video games that would want to do that, I can understand what Dark Souls won. They literally released it and were kind of like, yeah, we didn't, we, we kind of half assed the second half of that game. You think they'll notice? Nah, it's super hard. No one's going to play that hard. <laughs> Fucking amateurs. <laughs> yeah, they, they mis <laughs> misunderstood that. But yeah, no. I mean, it's, you can you can see it. I don't know if it's in Dark Souls 2, but, or the remake that they made, but there's the, after you die a certain number of times to the bed of chaos, they're like, look. We screwed up. <laughs> this yeah. is a hard boss. Let's we don't it. know what we were doing. We thought no one would get here. Like, Surprise! Like, you'll, oh, they'll God. just start spawning you on the ramp down to her at that I point. Know. Of like, have fun. Good luck. Like, yeah. It's, it's fine. It's a great game. Still a great game. It's a classic, I would say. It is. Do you know we had talked before oh, uh, about how you were going to record that? Do you know if you're going to include every single death? Are you going to do kind of a, I died, ugh, chop cut to like, you picking back up there? What do you think? I don't know. No, I think I'm 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 toying with different ideas because I want to also have like a. I don't know. I think uh. 
I think maybe per episode, a certain like amount of deaths I'm allowed to have before I have to end it, or I'm like, ah, dang it, I don't know. So some days it'll just be a 10-minute episode. Some days you know, it'll be like a three-minute episode. <laughs> <laughs> some days it'll be like, well... Better chaos, smart. guys. This is another three-minute episode. Have fun, y'all. <laughs> See y'all next week. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm still I'm still toying with different ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause, but there is also... I forget... I think we talked about it in a previous episode. Yep. There's a mod for Dark Souls 1. Mm-hmm. I forget... What? There's many, but yes. There's there's one in particular. I forget what the title is, but it's like something of Ash. Mm-hmm. I think you said like Daughters of Ash. Or something. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. right. But Daughters of Ash, where basically it just moves around a whole bunch of the assets of starting with the tunnels, which connect the different areas of the game mm-hmm. by just moving them from like area to area. Yeah. And also enemies aren't location bound, so they can go anywhere and get killed by other enemies throughout the game. Are there still... Fog walls and fog walls to enemy bosses? That I don't know. Because that'd be hilarious walking through a fog wall and it's like, ah, it's a mimic! Oh, God. I mean, it might be. Because it's, 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 it's a whole bunch of item and enemy randomization. Okay. So, I I'm... Not, yeah, I don't know about the enemy, but I do know, like, the ones I enjoy the most are the item randomization, where it's oh like, my God. every item pickup is random, have fun. Yes, I think, I think something like that would be a yeah. lot of fun. But that one, mm-hmm. uh... And then for Halloween coming up, to start spooking myself and get a little spooky. With your Doom and your Alien. Well, uh, well I don't know if I'll be playing Doom, okay, maybe, but um, Subnautica, mm-hmm. because I can finally have a computer that plays it, one. And two, the deep ocean really scares me. And I think uh, that and the forest will be pretty good, like, creation I'll kind s- of. I'll say this. The forest, you know how you're saying it's so much work? Subnautica. It's, it's, I have, I yeah. I watched it a little bit when it first came out. Mm-hmm. I watched a couple of like people playing it, and then I stopped. Do, do you know what the storyline of that game is? I know you crash. Apparently, there's aliens. Hmm. Kind of. Eh. Well, basically, you're trying to get off the planet, and yeah. you find out there's former aliens who had contained uh, the planet because there was okay. something on the planet that was contagious, right? So you have to go in there and like you find out like all the ingredients like they even had a lab where they were growing like the creature that they needed to get the stuff from like okay but it's like you have to go through the whole game and do all that stuff with the old alien technology and then you have to make a rocket to get off the planet what (laughs) yeah this is gonna be a long game folks this is gonna be a long game to go through but we're doing it it's a really long game oh my god no, because cause, cause I got it at one point and fuck, uh, fucked around with it a little bit. I'm like, this is cool and interesting. I, I got to play like a survival RPG of it. And it's like, as I'm looking through the stuff, I'm like, because like, I mean, so much in the first three days, the ship that you crash landed to has a nuclear meltdown and you have to prevent it from melting down and blowing up everything around you. And you're like, I hope I have enough resources for this already. Yeah, it's like I need a lead suit. And I'm like, wait, how do I make anything? And it's like, well, you better make it now. It's very easy. You take a knife, you stab a boulder and then the lead the falls stuff out. comes out. You pick the lead up and you go to a little work table and it's lasers do this. And then you pick up your st- it is, you have to admit, though, like, like, as much as people are always, uh, uh, and to get off topic onto uh, television shows and not video games, mm. as much as people are always like, man, Star Trek, you know, I always want to see a stranded mission where they, you know, ruggedly survive their way off it. That's Do you? That's what Subnautica is. Yeah, it truly because is. Because all you would be doing, because you have, if you have a working replicator. <laughs> yeah. You just go get the resources and make the stuff, because that's, that's what you're going to be doing for a while. Yeah. That's what you do. Until you build a spaceship and launch off of it. Yeah. Great. No, Subnautica, I love. Yes, but Subnautica, and then, um, of course, Planet Side 2. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Or do you have any... You say Planet Side 2, but like... Oh, we're gonna also going to have a, a, a friend join us. Next oh, time, hopefully. Yes. Yes. Hopefully, uh, we'll yeah, cross yeah, our yeah. fingers and keep y'all updated. I will yeah. say, what's up, uh, Planet Side Two? Um, are you thinking of like specifically? Are you just thinking of mess around on it? Are you thinking of specifically? Because how I used to play mm. is every night I'd be like, "All right, medic, here we go." I that's that's I'd what just, I think. I, I'd, I'd be like, "All right, who am I playing tonight? What kind of archetype?" Because that's of, that's what I think would be fun to do. Just I, stick with a class. Yeah, and, and, just, and it's also so much easier because like. I mean, you saw me fuck up a couple times where it's like, F, no, why am I dropping ammo? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. You, you, you do you do forget stuff like that when you switch back and forth really quick. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, like, yeah, I like, and I would always be like, medic, uh, engineer, or I do heavy assault, whatever I wanted to do. And it'd be like, that's what I'm playing for the night. 
This is what we're doing. Let's go. Oh my god, no, but yeah. Planet side two, because I can also play it. And uh, You can shoot stuff now. I can shoot stuff. And the two games I'm also going to be starting um, for Spooky Season, some Dead Space. Yes. I love Dead Space. I'm gonna be Which, pl- the first one? The first one, yeah. Just, But I'm going to play it on a... Probably the hardest difficulty to really to really uh, spook me and scare me and uh, make it difficult. Slam, I think it, slam your head into the wall. Oh, make things. it very entertaining. And then also because I can, I, <laughs> I think I started this or uh, tried to do a playthrough of it at the very beginning of my channel, mm-hmm. and it did not work out. But XCOM, I'm gonna start with some XCOM mm-hmm. and because uh, I have the DLC for the original, so I can do the oh, melt the, the meld. The yeah, the original. So I can do like the meld stuff with the tanks and stuff. Cause I also do have the second one, so I'm gonna be doing both of them. Do you have the second one with the DLC? I think I do have the DLC for it. Warning on the second one with the DLC. Um, you can activate it and use it fine. Okay. But they each correspond to like two missions, right? Okay. One mission, like one mission, essentially adds those like ro- like robots, right? Okay. They yeah, add yeah, like yeah. robots, the sparks, I think they call them, that are essentially like another unit type of yours that you can send in place of a soldier. Gotcha, Super gotcha. Super helpful, awesome. That one's fine. It's an in-and-out mission. The mission's a little hard, especially if you don't have a lot of people who can do armor-piercing damage because it's against robots. Yeah. The other one is, like, the bounty hunters or whatever the hell, right? Don't start that unless you're ready for a balls-to-the-wall super hard campaign because what it does is causes randomly occurring special, like, super special enemies... And, like, monsters, right, that aren't on the alien side to just show up. What? In the middle of different missions. Because you're hunting all... You don't, it, it's it, The whole premise of this is you're hunting these, like, mutated... I think they're mutated or, like, special aliens, right? Yeah, okay. That are separate from the alien enemy, right? Who are occupying the world. Where are they coming from? Just randomly. They're, oh, great. They're, they're a randomly generated event oh, great. on every single mission after you start that mission. Oh, my God. Not to mention the mission you do to start it is like super difficult because you face a ton of those um, snake guys who were oh, mutated and can spew acid and everything like 20 feet away. Brilliant. Yeah. Good. But Good. Good. once you do that, just know every single mission like clinch. Just Here be we ready. Go. Be ready. because That it, sounds so much fun. That it is. So it much is. fun. Which the, the, the thing I hated was, and of course the good thing I like about it is like you have to do the mission for it to take effect. So, you can wait until you think you're ready. Ah, uh, okay, okay, but, okay. But, but yeah, oh, man, oh, man. And what I love is doing, um, once you do the spark one, just taking, like, a full load of sparks <sighs> just into the mission. Just straight into there, yeah. okay. Yeah, yes, don't, don't lose any soldiers. Well, I mean, you lose the sparks. And they, actually, do cost, they do cost they stuff. They cost resources, and, like, you can argue, because, like, they even level up, too. Like, they level oh, up, like, the squad okay. members level up. So, you could even argue, like, they're more valuable than the humans because the humans you just buy and they level up yeah you know, as you go through whereas the sparks like you got to produce those yeah you got to level them up and you have to repair them uh, whereas wounded soldiers is just like you just gotta wait you gotta wait a couple you days a couple that's days. fair yeah no but yeah definitely the bounty hunter uh xcom 2 oh yeah okay okay yeah wait to turn that one on i mean leave it on but like, leave it on when but you, get you know the mission for it wait yeah <laughs> unless you're ready because like there's been yeah i've yeah it's it's hard it's hard <laughs> good job xcom like i'm making your game harder than we thought thank you i appreciate it but yeah but uh, that's all i'm looking forward to what about you uh that's i think that's really that's really all i got um awesome. i will say i don't think we have any i don't think we have any notes or anything no 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 no, no or anything uh yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of Our Gaming Life. I have been a formal bust. You can find me on uh, YouTube. Uh, I have a, a formal bust on YouTube and also at a formal bust.org now. Ooh, yes, you've got an org in the house. Dot org. Yes, Absolutely. an organization. <laughs> um, an organization of cells. Don't 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 pull the skin trench coat off. I am just that, an organization of cells. Let me in. And I have had with me today. Uh, this is your boy Yort. I can be found at Yort Corp. Uh, also, that check that on um, Instagram and uh, YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. That's where you can find me. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for watching. Um, feel free to do this stuff for both of our things, and uh, feel free to drink some H two O or die. <laughs>